Have you lost faith in your local politicians in representing your interest? Are you upset with the amount of debt and out of control spending that you are now being held responsible for? Do you just want to be able to live freely and enjoy the American dream? As a response to these and many other questions, the Bay Shore Tea Party was established to represent the ideals of liberty, freedom, and common sense government, ensuring that we, the people, are represented and not just special interest. The Bay Shore Tea Party educates the public on candidates for office, current legislation and its impact, teaches constitutional classes, and promotes education to reduce voter fraud. The Bay Shore Tea Party is located on Highway 35 North, Middletown, New Jersey. Stop by our office or visit our website at www.bayshoreteaparty.org. Next on the Conservative Commandos radio show, keep it to the right with Shannon Wright. Good afternoon. I have three short articles I'd like to share with you on the topic of same-sex marriage. The Bible says, Judge not lest ye be judged, and let ye without sin cast the first stone. So please understand, I'm not judging anyone. I am merely expressing my concerns about a very slippery slope. The first article comes from msnbc.com. New York becomes sixth and largest state to legalize gay marriage. After days of contentious negotiations and last-minute reversals by two Republican senators, New York became the sixth and largest state in the U.S. to legalize gay marriage, breathing life into the national gay rights movement that had stalled over a nearly identical bill here two years ago. Pending any court challenges, legal gay marriage can begin in New York by late July after Governor Andrew Cuomo signed his bill into law just before midnight on Friday. New York became the sixth state where gay couples can wed, doubling the number of Americans living in a state with legal gay marriage. Quote, that's certainly going to have a ripple effect across the nation, said Ross Levi, executive director of the Empire State Pride Agenda. It's truly a historic night for love, our families, and democracy has won. According to Governor Cuomo, he said, quote, we've made a powerful statement. Now, I agree with Governor Cuomo and that New York has indeed made a powerful statement. But the question is, what does that statement say? Lawmakers in New York have already begun to express serious concerns with regards to the undoubted wave of lawsuits against clergy and other faith-based organizations who will now face the onslaught of litigation for standing up for what they believe in. Now in New York, standing up for your faith-based principles may put you on the wrong side of the law. The next article comes from the New York Times. After New York, New look at Defense of Marriage Act. New York's new law allowing same-sex marriage could bring renewed focus to an embattled federal law that says other states do not have to recognize such unions. The Defense of Marriage Act, known as DOMA, forbids federal recognition of same-sex marriage. With New York's law applying to 19 million residents and those from outside the state as well, a surge in same-sex marriage could ensue. With many couples migrating to places where those marriages are not recognized. 29 states have constitutional amendments that define marriage as being between a man and a woman, and 12 have laws that ban the recognition of same-sex marriage. An associate professor at Loyola Law School said the increased number of marriage couples moving around the country could force more states to deal with interstate recognition and would also have an effect on, quote, putting more pressure on everyday treatment of same-sex couples by the federal government. If DOMA is not there, the courts will begin the process of redefining marriage in the states that have already stood against it. And we can't have that. The Defense of Marriage Act was signed into law by President Bill Clinton, and it's been under fierce attacks in the courts. Last year, a federal judge in Massachusetts declared the law unconstitutional as it applied to same-sex couples for issues like inheritance, taxes, health care, and pension benefits. President Obama has also expressed his opposition to DOMA. And in February, the Justice Department announced that it would not defend it in court, though it would enforce the law until a final court decision was made on its constitutionality. The first lawsuits regarding same-sex marriage that are likely to reach the Supreme Court challenge the Defense of Marriage Act. 
and its effect on the benefits in more surgically focused way. Last, but certainly not least, is an, is an article that was published in Star Ledger and on NJ.com. This article puts a fine point on why, if you believe in something, you need to do something. We all sometimes have a tendency to agree or disagree with something we see or hear, but do nothing, thinking somebody else will do it. This is why that logic doesn't work. New Jersey gay marriage advocates seek legalization on the heels of New York law. Gay marriage supporters will announce a lawsuit seeking to legalize it in New Jersey on Wednesday, just days after New York signed a gay marriage bill into law. A media advisory from Lambda Legal, a legal organization that seeks gay rights, says it plans to hold a press conference Wednesday at a hotel in downtown Trenton. In case for gay marriage in New Jersey was dealt two serious setbacks last year. In January 2010, the Democrat-controlled state Senate rejected a bill that would have given same-sex couples the right to marry. Six months later, the state Supreme Court declined to hear a case for gay marriage, saying it needs to wind its way through the lower courts first. Supporters of gay marriage say that they now have the votes to get it to pass in the legislature, but not enough to override a veto by Governor Christie, who has said he will not sign it. The New Jersey civil union law, designed to provide same-sex couples with the same rights as heterosexual married couples, but supporters of gay marriage say it has failed to achieve that. Six states, New York, New Hampshire, Connecticut, Iowa, Vermont, now all allow same-sex marriage, as well as the District of Columbia. As I said in the beginning, this is not a judgment, but right is right. The First Amendment guarantees freedom of religion. Our nation was based on faith principles. We know the church is supposed to be protected by separation of church and state. So when and why did we allow this provision to be perverted and used as an attack on the very core principles of faith that guided our founding fathers? If you believe in the separation of church and state, and you believe in the sanctity of marriage as described in the Bible when Jesus provided over the first wedding of Canaan and Galilee, and you believe in the wisdom of our founding fathers, how can you sit back and watch and do nothing as the states line up to presume authority over the church and the Bible by redefining the institution of marriage, which God set forth, not the state? To paraphrase a quote from a movie, Jurassic Park, God creates the, the dinosaurs. God destroys dinosaurs. God creates man. Man kills God. Man creates dinosaur. Dinosaur eats man. Women inherit the world. Now, will we presume to know more than our quote pay grade? That's when we get ourselves in trouble. We can no longer sit back and watch and comment amongst ourselves and take no action as we see the very core principles of faith that our country was founded on being eroded away by the state. Thank you. Have you lost faith in your local politicians in representing your interest? Are you upset with the amount of debt and out of control spending that you are now being held responsible for? Do you just want to be able to live freely and enjoy the American dream? As a response to these and many other questions, the Bay Shore Tea Party was established to represent the ideals of liberty, freedom, and common sense government, ensuring that we, the people, are represented and not just special interest. The Bay Shore Tea Party educates the public on candidates for office, current legislation and its impact, teaches constitutional classes, and promotes education to reduce voter fraud. The Bay Shore Tea Party is located on Highway 35 North, Middletown, New Jersey. Stop by our office or visit our website at www.bayshoreteaparty.org. You can call the Conservative Commandos radio show now at 609-447-0236. Your opinion counts at 609-447-0236. This is Congressman Alan West, and you're listening to the Conservative Commando Radio Show. 